Making sacrifices to achieve your goals is a buy-in to be at the top. You have to look for the ones that you feel have the potential to grow mentally, that are open to suggestion. They're saying, what do I need to do? How can I improve? Ever since I was like three or four, I wanted to be world champion. That's what I've always wanted to do. It's all I really have passion for. Brand new young talent doing something brand new you haven't heard before. Back in the split, into the hot seat, 519.1. We're here to see what the level of racing is in one of the world's most important countries in downhill racing, which is the UK. So there's definitely some talent to look for here. Welcome to Young Talent Camp number three. We had more than 120 people apply for this camp, and we're really happy to have 22 people from 12 countries. So what is a Young Talent Camp? What are we even talking about? It's an opportunity to give eight kids a ticket to the final tryout, where we will choose two young and talented individuals to race for the 2020 YT Mont team. Hello, Hi. I'm Wout van der Velde. Cedric Punier. Rick Maja Smith. Hi. My name is Roka Siderskis. I'm 15. 18, 16 years 17 old. years old. From the UK. England, England. Australia. I'm Belgium. Belgium. I'm from Ireland. I've been coming here for races since before you were all born. It's one of the most important tracks on the World Cup circuit. You master this one and you pretty well got one of the toughest tracks sorted. In order to make it to the next level, you need to be willing to sacrifice it all. You have to push through the pain and be willing to leave everything you have out on the racetrack. There's not many jobs that you can go to that you go and you put everything you have in, do your very best, and, and then it's normally not good enough. These young athletes will have the opportunity to experience one of the most iconic downhill racetracks on the World Cup circuit, getting to watch and ride with the same lines as the best riders in the world. And at the end of the day, maybe it makes this 1% difference what you need to be on the top. It's a burning desire. It's something that keeps them awake at night. It's something they envisage. They see themselves on that podium. Nothing's going to stop me. And you've got to pace them because there's a lot of work, there's a lot of sacrifice, and they're prepared to do that. Talent is a nice base to have, but talent is nothing without hard work. You will never be on the top of downhill mountain bike racing without absolute 100% dedication. Holy shit! <laughs> that ocean when you like that. Yeah. Little kiss. What? The camera with a little kiss. No. <laughs> That's too far, James. Only awkward if you make it awkward. Oh. <laughs> Those guys are going for a time right now in one of the longest tracks in the World Cup circuit. Nervous? Yeah. Try to stand with bike this time. If you're not nervous, there's something wrong. So you need to be nervous. But as he says, good nerves, that means I've done everything I should to be in the start house ready to race. Therefore, I'm excited. You know that feeling, the nerves suddenly change as soon as you go out the start house. It's just gone. It's just all the build up to it. But just remember, that's going to go away. Go. Timed runs, an essential piece to the puzzle. There's riders on course. Copy that. Putting in the long hours now. Bye, 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 bye. Making the necessary sacrifices is essential for success. Yo! You can see a difference, like some of them super competitive from natural and some of them not that much. Sometimes less is more, so that's a good thing. There's even more than more. <laughs> that's too much. <laughs> good job. Sick. I like to see them section in the trail so I can help them a little bit maybe with some stuff. And see if helping them do the line chase and stuff will make it improve. Last rider already drop in. So we good up here. Very interesting results. A lot to learn from what I just recorded. They're learning how to carry speed, which is good. Because now we can put it to the test. That for me was super good. The most important thing, like, it's all in the head. That's confidence. Woo! Solid! Don't go too fast, just try it. Doesn't matter to do it as fast as you can now. Just trying to figure out how to do it better. But there's always something you can change, even for me. Like, from the outside, it's easier to see a mistake. So, if someone's coming to me and telling me something, he may be right. So, I hope we can help them also, too. Hey! So you can be like super fast through this section and then just spray like a bit more for the turn because then it's gonna give you more speed to the exit. So you're losing time by not 
because you gain it after. So I have not the habit but it's okay. I understand. Game going! This is a real World Cup scenario for these kids as they learn the ins and outs of Fort William. And the hardest part is holding back, concentrating on riding the lines properly before putting their speed to the test. I just want to see, like, you guys can do it better. And then when we do the time run, you can show how fast you can go. Thrilling new sound. They're doing good, man. I'm stoked. They're super motivated to do it and trying a lot of stuff. There's more to extract. But there are other things, obviously, we're assessing throughout the week, looking at their social groups and their physiology, but it is only one piece of the puzzle. Physicality with the junior category is kind of important because the rate of development physically for kids at that age changes so much, and the person you are when you're 16, 17 is not who you are when you're 26. I don't think anyone can do it. You need a minimum to have it. And I was lucky enough to have support from my family to be able to train, because the more you train, the more you spend. My parents took a big gamble and risks any me. I mean, it, financially, it was, it was a big strain on our family. I know that. My parents didn't tell me at the time, I know it now. And yeah, I mean, they sacrificed a lot just to get me to Europe. And on top of that, you, you've got to try and make it. Now, I think there's a lot of sacrifices, family holidays and uh, time and money. You know, at the end of the day, that's what you sacrifice. And I think that as an athlete, you need that support. I'm Oshina Callahan. I'm 15 years old and I'm from Ireland. And I want to race bikes for a living. There's plenty of people out there working twice as hard as us, traveling up and down the country with sick kids. Um, so to be bringing your kid to a bike track and just getting the experience. You know, you couldn't put a value on that. Um, and I think the kids probably won't realize it till they get a little bit older either. I'm Luke Mumford, 17 years old, from the UK. Well, I'm here because I want to ride bikes around the world, really. It's great to be here now with Angel and had a few days there with them. I think you've learned a lot from the track, haven't you? Yeah, definitely. It gives me a lot more confidence. That's what I take from it. I mean, it's tough getting there, but the payoff in terms of the people they meet and the places you go to, we wouldn't have had a chance to go there if we hadn't done this. What I say to a lot of the parents of these kids is, you know, don't push them too hard, they'll make it, and then if they've got the work ethic, they can go as far as they want to go. But you can do it. I've been pleasantly surprised by just how great the parents are with these kids. And they're fully supportive, and they take them to the races every week, but they understand their role is to be a supporting, loving parent who's there through thick and thin, is there when the podium is on, and there when they're in hospital with a broken arm. But the love for your child will always be there, and they'll, they'll support them no matter what. Whether he becomes a world champion or not, you're just happy that if he's happy with his effort. So is that a sacrifice? I don't try and shun people from wanting to be world champion. That can be your long-term goal. But what are we going to do in the meantime? That's my job. You want to be the world champion? Where are you now? Number 69? Let's go for top 50 next year. Once we achieve that, let's go for top 30. Let's go for a top 10. Then we can aim for the win. Ladies and gentlemen, Luke Mumford! Well, I have a wonderful electronic invention I want you to see. It looks something like this. I can tell you that after this run, if they've taken what they've learned from connecting sections and doing sessions with Angel this morning, and their timed run is very improved on yesterday, then it shows they're absorbing. If they're flatlining on their results, then they're either stuck in their ways or they haven't absorbed. So this run's kind of important. Go! Your job for, you know, 95% of the year is getting you to the point where you're ready to race on Sunday. That's what you did all this for, so you go and enjoy it. If you start something, if it's in business or sport, school, whatever, you should have a plan how to achieve the goals. And of course you will also have setbacks. That's absolutely normal, but a plan is key. I think that's like a good lesson in life. You're never gonna get the reward you deserve. It's just the way that it is. You just can't get hung up on it. You gotta be proud of the effort that you put in no matter what happens, and then what's out of your control is out of your control. 
I'm super, super proud of these kids because it's not easy to read time and nearly all of them got it completely right. They knew which one was their fastest and they knew by how much and they knew why. That shows a level of maturity that top World Cup riders struggle with. So it just took me back a bit, just how good they were. I think there's some real candidates here for finals camp. Doing something you haven't heard before. 10 years ago, young talent like this didn't exist. And the next generation is out to redefine the rule book. Join us next episode as we host the fifth young talent camp in North America.